Over the last few weeks, I've been working on the materials for our Georgian for English Speakers program. So this is a course to teach the Georgian language to speakers of English. And as I've been going through these materials, I myself have been learning Georgian and I've been creating my mnemonics. And quite excitingly, I've been using AI image generation to create these mnemonic images. And one of the things that's really exciting about using AI image generation tools for mnemonic creation is that a lot of the downsides that currently exist with AI image generation, notably, uh, um, you know, weird images or like extra parts or, you know, an extra hand or something like that, they don't really matter for the purpose of mnemonic creation. But there are a lot of really amazing things that you can do with AI image creation that you can't do elsewhere. So you can create combinations of images that you wouldn't ever find in the real world. Or you can create images of things that, that don't really exist. And that's really, really exciting because we can, we can use that to create really vivid images quickly and easily that can serve as mnemonics for learning Georgian or learning other languages or other subjects. So today I want to take you through a few of my favorite Georgian mnemonics or mnemonics for Georgian words that I've created so far. So the first Georgian word that we have is soko, which means mushroom. So I think of a tub filled with soaking mushrooms. Soko. Next we have kveli, which means cheese. Now, this is an example of how you don't have to draw mnemonics all from the same language. So, I speak German, so this reminds me of die Quelle, which means spring or source in German. So, I think of a spring, only instead of water, it's flowing cheese. Likewise, for this next example, I'm not using English as the basis of my mnemonic. Vachli. This means apple, and it reminds me of the French word la vache, which means cow. So, I think of cows eating apples. Vashli. Next, we have mucha, which means oak, as in the type of tree. Now, this reminds me of the Spanish word mujer, which means woman. So, I think of an oak tree in the shape of a woman. I think this is a really good example of a very vivid image created by AI that would be difficult to create or find in some other form. Next, we have tzcheli, which means hot. And so, for this, for the tz sound at the beginning, I think of pizza. And then the cheli part kind of reminds me of hell. So I think of a pizza being cooked in the fires of hell. And it's really, really hot. So, cheli, hot. Grilli, cool. So for this, I think of a grill, but instead of burning coals, we have cool ice cubes. Grilli. And this last one is one of my favorite images because it combines so many different elements in one. Kar kisorveb. Have a nice day. This is literally karg, good, tres, day, kisorveb. I wish you. So let me explain the mnemonic image here. We have a car for karg. Then we have a woman in a dress for tres. And then we have the Icelandic hero, gisor. And the idea here is that this woman is stepping out of the car to meet gisor for a date after they met on the web. Web. Gisorveb. Karg, tres, gisorveb. This is really exciting because we have a single image for an entire phrase. So that's really, really cool. And that's something that you can do with AI image generation. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And head over to linguisticator.com for our courses in Georgian, memory, and other languages. Thanks again, and see you next time.